El Dia de Muertos tankers, Day of the Dead is here. The Day of the Dead brings new bright billboards to all maps and a magic festive paint to the garage and the cargo drones. We've spread out a fun itinerary of events for exactly 10 days, as that is how long the festival lasts. The first eight special missions are already available. Complete them to get Ultra Containers. The second set with the same number of missions will appear on November 18th, and you will only have three days to finish them. This time, the missions are not as challenging, so we only have Ultra Containers and prizes. There you will find the Thunder's Magneto Shells Augment. With it, you will deactivate enemy supplies whenever you deal critical damage. Opponents near the target will also be affected by splash damage. To make it easier for you to complete the missions, boost your tank while we have discounts. Let's kick things off with 30% off in the shop today, then follow it up with the same discount in the garage tomorrow. And then on Sunday, you can upgrade your tank with a 30% discount and speed up these upgrades at half price. We will also boost the battle funds and experience you earn for both weekends. If you need even more to upgrade your tank, check out the special offers available in the shop. The Daily Tank Coins Pass, 200 Ultra Containers, and gifts from Ancestors. As for game modes, this weekend we will have a deathmatch mode with boosted gold box rate on three Halloween maps. The second weekend will also bring you a deathmatch mode, but on the following maps. Chernushka MM, Silence MM, and Forest Remastered. The Winter Major 2022 is in full swing. It is a tournament with a prize pool of 380,000 rubles, about 6,000 euro, unique prizes and special modules with up to 30% protection from all turrets and mines. Right now, the tournament is in challenger's stage. Soon, we will find out which 16 teams will take part in the next stage, Legends. And on December 11th, the last stage, Champions, will take place in which the eight best teams will fight for the title of champion. The stage will last eight days, and on December 18th, we will find out who is crowned the victor, and will therefore win 200,000 rubles, hundreds of containers, thousands of tank coins, and millions of crystals. Do not miss live streams of these hot matches on our Twitch channels. You can also get Twitch drops from watching them. Spend 20 minutes, get an ultra container, and consider staying till the end of the livestream. It is worth it. Root for your favorite teams, help them grow their fan base, and take part in the Tanky Fund starting next week. Speaking of the Tanky Fund, we'll be launching the winter edition of the eSports Tanky Fund to let you support eSports teams with tank coins and earn cool rewards for yourself. On November 15th, the following three special offers will appear in the shop. Livestream Lover, Devoted Fan, and sports patron. Each purchase of these special offers adds tank coins to the fund. Yes, you heard that right. The eSports tanky fund you all have been waiting for starts soon. We are still delighted with the results of the last event, so this time we decided to increase the number of levels to 20. This means we will have even more guaranteed prizes for all participants. As you see, this time, there will be even more augments for different turrets. In today's episode, we will take a look at each of them, and later we will tell you about other prizes. Let's start. When the fund reaches the 8th level, you get the Striker's Stunning Missiles Augment. Each critical shot stuns a target for 1.5 seconds. The 9th level brings you the brand new Jamming Shells Augment for Railgun. The Jammer status effect is applied with each shot and lasts for 5 seconds. The 10th level's reward is the famous Isida Vampire Nanobots Augment. The bloodthirsty Isida steals health points from opponents and restores your HP. In return, it loses the ability to deal critical damage. When the fund reaches the 11th level, you will get the new Jamming Rounds Augment for Smokey. It works the same way as the version for Railgun. Each shot applies the Jammer status effect for 5 seconds. That's not all. On the 12th level, participants receive one more augment for Smokey, Pulsar. On critical hits, it applies five status effects. 
The duration of these effects is short, but enough to empty the enemy's health bar to zero. Level 14 is Radioactive. Scorpion's uranium shells augment has two features. Shells can ricochet and deal splash damage. In the right hands, this augment is simply invincible. The 16th level brings one more pulsar augment, this time for twins, again applying five status effects on critical hits. At the penultimate level, we have Thunder's Adaptive Reload Augment. Don't miss a shot with this one. Hitting an opponent speeds up your reload and splash damage to a group of enemies lets you make a next shot almost instantly. Hit an opponent, speed up your reload. Hit a group of opponents, shoot like a machine gun. Next Tuesday on November 15th, the special website will become available and you will be able to track the progress of the tanky fund. The link to the website is in the description or you can just click on the announcement in the game. The minigame has crossed the equator. Players have already earned 800,000 lollipops. Each step brings you closer to the main prizes of the event. Demonic skins for Viking and Hammer. Earlier we showed you how these skins look and added an animation to Hammer's reload. Continue on your way and don't stop on your current island. The most difficult tests are ahead, but DC skins are worth fighting for. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by players. Do you remember that one of the ways to get lollipops is to catch special gold boxes? How many have you caught already? Check Mr. Skill's lollipop box montage and compare your results. Looking for a new combo to check out? Taspence is here to help. An unkillable combo, does it even exist? Find out in his video. You basically have infinite repairs with this thing, it's crazy. Uh oh, keep healing, keep healing, oh my gosh. I was able to out heal an Ares Overdrive, that's crazy. Bit too many enemies for me to take care of here. If you can play this combo right, you can survive almost any encounter, it's pretty crazy. All right, outrun this dude. I think the Isida Vampire Nanobots also came to a battle pass a few months ago. You can basically win any one-on-one -on -one fight that you get in, maybe if the person has 50% protection, but yeah, you're basically unkillable in a one-on-one -on -one fight, and that's why I love this combo so much. Last time, you had to guess how many gold boxes the wasps would take after the juggernaut activated its overdrive. The correct answer is 5. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all for this week. We covered the most important topics and would like to get your comments, reactions and likes. So make sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. See you in a week.